The Apostle Paul's first epistle to Timothy, chapter 5, by Dr. John Gill, narrated by David Clark. In this chapter, the Apostle lays down rules about the manner of rebuking persons, suitable to their several ages, gives directions concerning widows, both old and young, and instructs Timothy how to behave towards elders in office on different accounts. The rules for giving reproof to old men as fathers, to young men as brethren, to elder women as mothers, and to younger as sisters are in 1 Timothy 5, 1 to 2. Next follow the directions about taking care of widows who are to be honoured and maintained by the church that are widows indeed, not such who have relations that are capable of taking care of them who ought to do it and not burden the church, since so to do is an act of piety, a requiting parents for their former care and kindness and is good and acceptable in the sight of God. But such who are desolate and alone and have no husbands or children, nor any to support their wants, but wholly dependent on on the providence of God, and are constant at the throne of grace, crying for help and relief, which show they are living Christians, whereas such who spend their time in sinful lusts and pleasures are dead while they live. Wherefore, if members of the church with respect to these, this business would be blameless, they ought to take care of the former and reprove the latter. And as of the persons who cast their poor widows upon the church and will not provide for them when they are able, they are to be looked upon as deniers of the faith and to be worse than heathens themselves. The qualifications of widows to be taken care of by the church besides those before mentioned are that they are to be 60 years of age, having been the wife of one man and well known for their good works, some of which are particularly mentioned. But those who are under the age fixed and especially are fit for marriage and the procreation of children should be rejected because of their lasciviousness, idleness, tattling and busying themselves about other people's matters. These on the contrary should be directed to marry, bear children, take care of household affairs and give no occasion to the enemy to reproach and blaspheme. And the rather such advice should be given since there have been some sad instances of apostasy in such persons. And then the Apostle repeats his orders to believers to take care of the poor widows who are able to do it themselves, so the church might not be burdened and might be able to relieve such as were real and proper objects. And then follow the rules with respect to the elders in office, as that those that rule well and labour in the ministry of the word should be honourably maintained, which is confirmed by a passage of scripture in the Old Testament and using the sayings of Christ in the New. And an accusation should not be received against one of such a character, but by two or three witnesses, and that such of them that fell into any notorious sins should be publicly rebuked in order to make others afraid to sin. And these things, the apostle in the most solemn manner charges Timothy in the sight of God, Christ and his angels to observe without partiality, to which he adds that he would not have him to be hastily concerned in the ordination of any one as an elder, lest he should involve himself in his sin, whereas by acting otherwise he would be free, and then insists some advice to himself to take care of his health, and concludes the chapter with observing on occasion of what he had said, that some men's sins are open and their characters are easily discerned, and others were private, and such were also the good works of others, which made the case either more or easy, more difficult to determine what was to be done, and therefore nothing should be done suddenly and rashly in office, but in age, for elders by office are otherwise spoken of, and particular rules concerning them is given. Besides, an elder is here appointed not to a private member of a church, but Besides, an elder is here opposed, not to a private member of a church, but to young men in age. And the apostle is here giving rules to be observed in rebuking members of churches according to their different age and sex, and not according to their office and station. And this sense is confirmed by the parallel text 2 Titus 2.6.
Now, an ancient man, a member of the church, is not to be rebuked in a sharp and severe way. The word here used signifies to smite or strike, and so the Arabic version renders it, do not strike an elder, meaning not with the hand, but with the tongue, giving hard words, which are as heavy blows. Reproof is a smiting, and there is a gentle and a sharp one. Psalm 141, 4, Titus 1, 13. It is with the former and not the latter that manning years is to be reproved when he is in fault, whether with respect to doctrine or practice, as such persons may as well be younger ones, and when they are observed to err, they should not be roughly and sharply dealt with, but entreat him as a father, as a child should entreat a father, when he is going out of the way. Give him honour and respect, fear and reverence, and persuade him to desist entreat and beseech him to return to the right path of truth and holiness. Use him as a father in Christ, that has known him that is from the beginning and has of a long time standing in the church. This must be understood of lesser crimes, not of atrocious, flagitious ones, obstinately continued in, to the great scandal of religion and, and the dishonour of the gospel, for then severe methods must be used. Isaiah 45.20 But, Though this is the sense of the passage, yet the argument from hence is strong that if an elder in years, a private member who is ancient and in a fault, is not to be roughly used but gently entreated, then much more an elder in office. And the younger men of brethren, the Syriac, Arabic and Ethiopic versions read, as thy brethren. Timothy was a young man himself, and as he was to consider the elderly man as his father, and use him accordingly, so he was to consider young men as equal with him, at least in age, and take the more freedom with them, in reproving them for their faults, and use somewhat more authority with them, and yet consider them as brethren in Christ, to reprove them in the brotherly way and with brotherly love.